You ever been to the top of the universe? <laughs> What's happening, fam? All right, LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. Here's why the dad wasn't wrong. So I've been just chilling on this one. Um, there's a video of a father who's basically disciplining his son on, on live social media, and he slaps him on social media basically for... Um, um, being on live with guns and, you know, basically telling people to pull up, right? Now, I hear what people are saying, like, you need to stop getting on social media, you're embarrassing your kid, everything is a social media generation, and that's quote-unquote bad parenting. I get that. But when the live was going on, there was a little kid in there. Guy's a married man, so wife is in the house. So, and I didn't hear anybody address this part. So you got a kid who's probably reaching, going to her house, reaching around with guns, telling people to pull up to a house that his parents and his siblings stay at. So he's basically advertising to come and shoot at the house. And what you upset about, what people got upset about was the fact that dad slapped him on live. Like, y'all come get him. Y'all come save him if y'all really, you know, if it's, if it's like that. And my issue is, y'all don't get it? Because, you know, this morning I got up, there's a rapper, um, I want to say in Florida, who got on live telling people to pull up, got shot and killed. And for some odd reason, you know, of a certain age group, you got these younger folks keep telling people to pull up. And here's the problem. Y'all telling people to pull up to houses that you that's pull up to your to, to somebody else's house. That ain't where that's not your house. You know what I'm saying? Pull up to somebody else's apartment. Pull up to, on some block where you really don't necessarily live. You just want them to pull up where you're at. So you want them to come air a, per, a particular place out, but that's not really where you stay. You're not, you're not dropping your location of where you live actually, where you pay bills, where you sleep at night. You get what I'm saying? So, but you're online telling people, you know, you know, I'm over such and such house. Y'all should pull up. Wait, what? No, nah, be like, you, you trying to get my crib shot up? Cause you playing. Oh, 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 what if what happens if you say pull up and then you leave? Or what if you say pull up and somebody actually pulls up and they shoot the place up? Just like in the case with the young with the father and the son, and they shoot up the house and the, and the wife or the or the kid gets hit. Y'all gonna say, yo, these kids out here savages. You know, they animals. Why would you shoot up a house? But you're not gonna run this tape back to why did that fool tell these kids to pull up knowing he got a little, knowing his his mama there and his, his little brother or sister is running around the house? Like, what kind of idiot would do that? The kind that need to be slapped on social media. The kind that really need to get, get his face beat in on social media and stomped out. Because y'all not taking nobody else's life into consideration more than y'all can taking that embarrassment in, into consideration. I, my feelings. Okay. How would you feel if it was you? How would you feel if it was, if you were the parent and your child told some somebody that they were getting into it with to pull up on your house and you didn't know? And they actually did it. And you got other people in the house. What, what happens if somebody gets shot then? What happens if you get shot? What happens then? What happens if somebody get killed? You you gonna blame it on the people that shot up the house? Yeah, you could, rightfully so. They came pull the trigger, but who invited them? The person in your house. The person dumb enough to go. I didn't really think they was gonna do it. I just I thought they were scary. You know what I'm saying? I I, I had to I had the guns. You know what I'm saying? I had I had it on me. I had it on me. So you know I didn't think they was gonna come. 
So you mean to tell me you were sitting in the house this whole time knowing that you told somebody to come over to my house? You basically dropped, you, y'all drop your location. You dropping other people's addresses. So, so with, while they were minding their business, you involved them in your BS. But people are concerned about, I don't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't embarrass somebody like that. So, so, so at what point does everybody else matter is the question. At what point do people have to actually stand up for themselves and actually go, okay, since we go, since everybody want to go left, now nah, I'm involved. Now nah, it's all going left. Cause guess what? If you pull up at my house, because they told you to pull up and you shoot at my house, I'm coming to yours. And, and you explain to your family why your house got shot up. And if you're in my house and you're telling people to pull up, I'm going to shoot you too. You want to know what a bullet feel like so bad? Oh, no, no. You're not gonna, if I get shot messing around because of you, you're going to get shot by me, period. So, you know. Tell me what you think. That's my thoughts. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch you on the next one. Peace.